Okay, everybody, why don't we get started? Um, I want to start off by introducing some of our panelists today. Um, first, we have John Fair, who is the developer and managing director of The Strand. John is the visionary developer behind Turks and Caicos' award-winning Grace Bay Club and the Esperanza Resort in Cabo San Lucas. Hi, John, how are you? Hi, nice to, nice to have the chance to talk to everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, I want to introduce Nina Ziegenthaler, Vice President and Owner of Turks and Caicos' Sotheby's International Realty. Nina remains the number one producer in the TCI, posting over 100 million in sales production annually. Hi again, Nina. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Sophie. Hi. Uh, last but not least, I want to introduce Joe Zom, the President and Owner of Turks and Caicos' leading brokerage, Turks and Caicos Sotheby's International Realty. Hi, Joe. How are you? Great. Thanks, Sophie. Hello, everyone. Before we begin, everyone, um, I want to give John a chance to give us some updates on the permitting and construction for the strands because we've hit a few major milestones since the last time we spoke. John, yeah, thanks, it? Dopey. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we um, we're happy to say we now are completely permitted for the entire project. Um, that was uh, that was a long time coming, and it was a lot of hard work and on a lot of a lot of people's parts, but uh, we're fully fully permitted and uh and we're off and going we have four major excavators working on um on digging out the marina uh we have broken ground or actually started the foundations on the first uh large villa r3 it's a luxury villa um and we are busy clearing pads on two more of the, of the uh, luxury villas right now in about a week we'll excuse me, in about a week we'll start uh, doing dirt work on buildings A and B in the in the villas um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Lots going on, so it's exciting. We're happy, full speed ahead. And John, la last time we had a chance to do this webinar uh, forum, you mentioned uh, a three bedroom villa concept we're very excited to hear a bit more about that. Do you mind telling us a bit more? Sure. So we are just about done with the construction drawings. This is a rendering. This isn't one of our best photorealistic renderings, but it's okay. Um, rendering of the entry side of the three bedroom units. Um, we're really excited about this product. We've already, we haven't even released it. We've already sold three. Um, it's, they're gonna be $3 million, three story, just under 4,000 square feet of total constructed space. And um, each one, it, it's basically the two story unit where instead of the roof terrace, there's a third bedroom on the third floor. That, that bedroom also locks off and it's exactly like the second floor suite. And those are really beautiful suites too. So uh, we, we think it's going to be a winner. We really like it. We're excited about it. Fantastic. Yeah, we love it, John. And uh, I think what we saw was people were knocked out by the concept, but the people we had in have had interested uh, really were desiring a third bedroom. And we didn't have that in the initial offering, but we had the footprint in place uh, with the rooftop terraces. So having a nice mix of the two and three bedrooms really helps us to satisfy that desire in the market. And these are obviously great for for the financial, for the ongoing financial uh, the reality of owning a three bedroom villa at the Strand because you have three keys and three key, three bedrooms and three keys. And that's always the optimal way to be able to get the optimal return on your investment while still having a really terrific, uh, you know, flexibility vis-a-vis uh, -vis your personal use. You can stay in the main, you can use the second bedroom, uh, lock out the third, you can use the whole thing, you can use any one of those subsets. And I found that in the very few projects that offer that a real winner. And it, it just provides a, an advantage in terms of the amount of keys that you have. Yeah, and I just one more thing I'd like to point out, like everything at the Strand, every one of these lock off suites or every bedroom is dead on the water. And, and that third floor is 50 feet above high tide. So those views of the Caicos Banks are just going to be spectacular. Yeah, 
Definitely. Yeah. And I yeah. know that our marketing team has been working uh, around the clock. So we're hoping to launch that three bedroom on our website in the next week or so. So um, hopefully everyone can check it out uh, via our website. Um, let's move now on to the main topic of this webinar, if we can, um, which is to give our viewers a description of the lifestyle and rental management of the Strand. Uh, John, can you take it away? Sure, Sophie, thanks. So, so the whole idea of the Strand, and a lot of you have heard me say this before, but was is is to to create a real sense of place and community and 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 i call it a residential resort so we have five star resort amenities and services but it's really focused on you as the homeowner your family and guests but it's amenity laden that we have a we have a lot a lot of fun stuff here and i'll just run through some of that real quickly just on the amenity side we'll have reception concierge we have a boutique, fitness, state-of-the-art fitness. We have yoga, uh, tennis, two pickleball courts, a marina. We have a beach club with water toys. Um, we'll have two club boats. We'll have a club, we have a club pool, and we have a beachfront bar and restaurant that's gonna be uh, right, hopefully the place <laughs> in Providenciales. Uh, we'll have a kids club and we also have an artist in residence program. So that's the amenities tag. Um, John, you mentioned a bit about the marina uh, excavation and how far we're along with that. Um, could you tell everyone a little bit more about our marina? Yeah, so it's, as you know, it's kind of cool and, and unique. And we've had some great publicity um, uh, internationally. Uh, on, on projects that have a, a marina. We've, we're, we've been uh, in some incredible publications because of this. It's kind of the hot thing. So it's pretty unique and interesting to have our own marina. We'll have about 24 to 25 slips for homeowners, plus the six custom lots each have their own slip in the back. So there's plenty of slips for everybody who's going to want a boat. Um, so there are 46 total pieces of real estate for sale and we'll have 30 slips. So I think, I think, uh, there, we'll have no problem accommodating everybody who wants a slip. The, most of the slips will be 40 feet. There'll be some around 35, 36 feet. And then we'll have a few that are up to 50 or even 55 feet. And, uh, uh, they'll be floating docks state-of-the-art water power uh we'll we'll put solar power on there um and uh what we're going to do with marina i'll both sell slips and rent slips i don't know the price on either one yet because i don't have my costs nailed down exactly but i will say we will for sure be right in line with the other marinas in town um and uh but you know i think the only marina that will have as nice a slips as ours is, is south bank has does a nice job with theirs but uh yeah we're excited about the marina i think it's a tremendous amenity for us yeah, definitely i think it's going to be um great for some of our clients just to have that available and at their fingertips if they want to wake up and jump on the boat um, another thing that I think is quite unique about the Strand and is one of the things I'm most excited about is our artist in residence program. Um, not everyone on this webinar, I think, has maybe had a chance to uh, learn a bit more about that. So, John, could you um, speak about that? Because I know that was kind of your your idea. Yeah. So it's something I've always wanted to do, <laughs> and. Um, and, and here I was able to build in a two bedroom apartment specifically for this purpose. But the idea is to make it fun for our homeowners and, and family and guests, but also to be a sales tool for renting units. But we'll have thought leaders, we'll have famous yoga instructors, maybe marine biologists, um, 
uh, naturalists, anybody, anything, could be an author, could be a painter. Uh, anyway, the idea is to really mix it up, musicians. And what we'll do is we'll just offer them a free vacation. And, um, and for the most part, for the free vacation, they will put on seminars or whatever it is that they specialize in and do and mingle and have dinner with our homeowners. Uh, some of them, let's say it's a famous yoga instructor, you know, they'll, you can, you'll be able to sign up for their special programs. Homeowners will have first priority to sign up for their programs and probably a discount. And then, um, or maybe it's a famous fly fishing guide and you can sign up to go actually go out with them and, and uh, learn from them. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I think it'll be a very interesting and stimulating for the homeowners and a nice, nice marketing tool for rentals too. Uh, absolutely, John. Um, that's really unique. I love that. Very cool. What can you actually tell us a bit more about the services that will be available to owners and to guests? Sure. Um, it's a long list. <laughs> you know, if I could go through the list, Marcel, um, I just go through this. It's like we'll have pre arrival grocery shopping, we'll have post arrival grocery shopping if you want it. Uh, in your villa spa services, airport transfers, property management, project management, landscape maintenance, um, housekeeping as requested, con uh, so a la carte. Uh, concierge service, food delivery from the Strand restaurant, private chefs, catering, party planning, babysitting, fitness training, sports and activities, booking. We'll have be able to set you up with private lessons for fly fishing, tennis, pickleball, golf, kite boarding, paddle boarding, scuba diving, snorkeling, sailing. All that will be available. And, uh, and not just available, but we'll very actively encourage participation in all these things that's that sounds awesome question. john uh how, how does how does your program at the strand differ from owning a, a condominium or villa at a typical five-star resort like for example if somebody goes to the bar what would their experience be versus being at like at a condo hotel <laughs> well first of all you're going to be on a as a homeowner the staff is going to be like an extended family you'll be on a first name basis with the bartender he'll know exactly what you like to drink if uh you like 1942 tequila he'll make sure that he's got it stocked for you uh, or like my partner loves class azul tequila it's about all he drinks so <laughs> yeah that'll be there um what kind of cigars you like that your your 10 year old son likes extra pepperoni on his pizza that uh you know how your wife likes your salad with just olive oil and vinegar or however it's going to be very very personal very focused on you as the homeowner as opposed to a five-star resort if you own a villa at a four seasons place or a condo at a ritz carlton or something it, it'll just never have that level of of um kind of a personal touch and uh, to us that's what it's really all about and i think in the long run that's what'll make the strand really special and really special over, you know, standing the test of time. And John, you know, you've touched on a lot of the very personalized aspects of, of the service, but can you also tell us a bit more about the unique club aspect of the strand? We have a few examples of that here in, in Provo uh, with, you know, the beach club at Parakee and Amanyara, but can you really tell us a bit more about the strand because it seems like it's very focused on families that own and, and their experiences specifically. Right. So, you know, we'll have a club pool and a bar and restaurant, and we're really working hard to try to make it, you know, the most beautiful and inviting beachfront bar and restaurant in Turks and Caicos, if not, you know, in the Caribbean. Um, it, it, we just have an opportunity to do something really special and great, and I'm putting a lot of effort into that. But but the idea is that that's the beating heart and soul of socialization for, for the Strand. That's where you go. You have your beautiful private villa where you are, can hang by yourself or with your family. 
But when you want to socialize, you go to the club. And at the club, you know, the pool's designed for socialization. It is, I like to do in designs, it has lots of different little venues and areas where groups of four, eight, 10 can gather. Um, the bar will be a big socialization area and have different kinds of venues from sitting at the bar or sitting in the be on the beach or neat tucked into the, to the, you know, kind of by on the Iron Shore's edge spots. Um, and then, and then at the restaurant, you know, the same, it'll, it'll, but it's, it's all organized to focus primarily on you. And as an owner, uh, you will have charging privileges. You will have a discount on food and beverage. You'll have priority seating and we'll have members only seating. We'll also, by the way, have club events just like a you know a country club might we'll have barbecues different parties on uh, holidays really make it fun really try to create a lot of socialization amongst homeowners and uh and their families yeah it's really going to be the heart of the strand i feel um but john could you tell us a little bit more about um the look and feel for the bar and restaurant, what would that be like? Yeah, so so the 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 kitchen of the restaurant is literally buried into the hillside. It's not just a green roof; it's buried, <laughs> and so you won't even know it's there. And so the restaurant is all outdoors, and it's going to have a lot of neat, cool venues that wind in kind of two tiers: one tier right at the Iron Shore. And by the way, when I say Iron Shore, the beach is right below that. So, so you'll be on the Iron Shore edge and you'll be about five feet, six feet up from the beach itself and looking out over the water. And then there'll be a second tier because of the slope uh, that'll be just one row back from the Iron Shore edge. That'll have a beautiful view over. What we're trying to do is create a very organic, kind of rich looking experience uh, very much like dining in a garden on the on the, at the water's edge and um, some of it will have waterproof trellises covering it some will have this real cool like greek or abiza net shade netting going between palm trees and uh, and then others will be just out other spots will be just out in the open we'll also have an outdoor exhibition grill. Um, we'll have an outdoor pizza oven. Um, so you can walk up and you'll just see that beautiful lobster and steak or fresh fish that just came in that day, you know, right there on the charcoal grill. But we want it to be very casual, very inviting. Um, I'm, I'm determined it's also gonna be very photogenic. So I think it'll be, be uh, seen a lot in magazines and, and stuff <laughs> around the world. But it most of all, it's supposed to be fun. Oh, by the way, it I want it to look like it's been there for a long time. I want it to look like it kind of kind of grew up on the land over time. And if it ever if anybody ever gets the slightest inkling that it would be a hotel restaurant, I've really failed miserably. <laughs> that won't happen, I promise. Yeah. Well, I know I think it's a really lovely feature for that exhibition grill because I have a feeling some of our clients are going to be, you know, fishing in the morning, bringing their fresh catch to that grill and then having it for lunch or dinner that evening. Um, so I think that's going to be kind of the hub for all our fishermen. Um, Thank you for kind of going into detail on that, John, but could you also tell us about some of the privileges that the members are going to have uh, around the restaurant and bar and what kind of services we'll have for them? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, I'll talk a little for just a minute about kind of the food and stuff too. We're really going to be focused on fresh and healthy. Um, we're kind of we're we're going to endeavor as hard as we can to do fish better than anybody's been able to do it in Turks. Um, and we have a you know a number of different thoughts and ideas on that. We also want to be very friendly to being able to go out, whether it's with an outfitter or whether it's on our own club boat. You go out, and you 
catch some red snapper, grouper, wahoo. You can bring that in and we'll cook it in the restaurant and serve it for your family. And uh, when I did that at Esperanza, for example, we had served sashimi six ways and surprise you with it. Um, we want to have some of that. It needs to be fun and interesting. It's always fun to eat your own catch. But we really want to focus on seafood. We'll also have delicious steaks. Uh, but I believe in fresh, honest, very high quality ingredients, you know, simply prepared, uh, beautiful organic green salads with uh, fresh fish filet on it. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then as for privileges, I kind of mentioned that homeowners will have a discount on the menu. They'll have priority seating and 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 all, all of that as well. And by the way, we'll, you can also bring your own wine. We'll have a corkage fee that we'll charge, but uh, we're more than happy for you to, if you have a substantial seller in your house, you want to bring your own wines in, great. We're all for it. It's that kind of place. It's about what you want. Yeah. I think, you know, sorry, Nina. I just think it's also a good point to make that, um, especially for all of us on island, that um, it is open to the public. Um, but of course, priority comes to our, our clients as well. Right. Sorry, Nina, you were saying. No, it, thanks for taking us through all these mouthwatering and, and fun concepts. But uh, we're looking forward to that. But on a, on a very important topic, I think a lot of um, our audience and, and prospects today have been very curious about the management concept. And again, how that's unique. And I think you, you might even say you wanted it to be a bit disruptive at the Strand. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. I think our management structure and rental structures probably is disruptive on the island and it's unique on the island, even though it's not necessarily so unique in other um, locations around the world. But um, first I wanna emphasize, you don't have to rent. Um, we don't force you to, if you choose not to rent, it, it, that's great. And you'll never feel pressured. You'll never feel like, you know, uh, you're not getting proper service because we feel like we're getting cheated out of getting fees or something like that. Um, but what we're trying to do is it's organized as a private club. So there's no strata or HOA. And that's a little bit different to begin with. Then the splits on the rental program, it's important to know we take a 20% fee from the gross rent. And then, uh, and then there's a 5% marketing fee. We will be subsidizing that marketing fee because the, the true cost of uh, the sales will probably, uh, in marketing will probably be in the six or 7% range, a little higher early on starting out, but we'll subsidize that 5% uh, out, of our, out of our fees. Then, um, and then there's a thousand dollar a month property management fee on the townhouse villas. Um, on the larger single family homes, there's a $1,500 a month management fee, but that gets waived on those larger homes if they're rented any month, they're rented at least 10 days. Um, all other costs are passed through virtually at cost. So, and very, very transparently. And we'll always be striving to keep those costs as low as possible. Um, we make our money from that 20% fee. And just to be very forward about it, after we've paid out of that for the reservation system and for the accounting, subsidize the marketing, probably subsidizing property management, you know, we hope to make 10, while best case, maybe 12%. That's how we make our money. We want to be open and transparent about it. And we want it to feel fair and right. But the net results interesting. So we had a chance one time to take a kind of a comparable four bedroom villa, managed villa from 2019 and took their actual income and expenses. And then we put our program up against it and looked at the net. And it was interesting because it was $675,000 gross on that unit. We think ours are 
better and we'll rep for even more, but nevertheless, we took their revenue. And by the time they were done, they netted at the end of the year off that gross revenue, $43,000. And if when we put our program next to it, they were making over $320,000. So, you know, I think it's a it's an attractive program and I think it's really fair. And, um, you know, I, th I think it's probably the direction things will ultimately end up going in Turks and Caicos. Great job, thanks. So I think we're going to go back to you, but John answered the pretty much a, gave a full accounting of that. Well, there's one more thing I'd like to point out, though. It, it's really important. And, and, and that is, you know, strata dues, and in our case, we call them club dues. Strata dues are, are very high in Turks and Caicos. And a lot of people, homeowners think maybe they're obscenely high or they're getting you know, taking the cleaners a little bit. They're really probably not. It's, they're just, it's expensive. It's an expensive island. Um, but there's a major disruptive thing that we're going to do that's going to benefit the homeowners immensely. So right now it's the norm to charge a 5% resort charge or, uh, you know, uh, at most of the resorts here. And you're even seeing this throughout North America. And um, what's interesting is in Turks and Caicos, most of the places that charge that, the management company takes that charge and they put it in their pocket. At the Strand, we're gonna take that 5% club, we're gonna call it a club charge, and we're gonna put it 100% of that directly against the budget of the club. And it may not be intuitive, but on paper, it reduces the dues by over 50%. And our dues will start out similar to other resorts in Turks and Caicos. But after you apply that club charge back, we're going to, we'll be less than half of uh, net dues at the end of the day, I, we think of any of our competition. So that's a big deal. And it, that really helps. It really takes a lot of the sting out of home ownership here. Definitely. Well, guys, I think now is probably a good place to stop and maybe take some questions. I've seen some questions coming in. Um, let's see. Let me have a look here. I think we have one here. It says, well done. Any silent solar decking area to be planned built? Um, I think it'd be great if John just speaks on the on the option for solar for the project. That could yeah, that. and and we're going to have another one of these where we talk about the product, and I was going to go into the sustainability in more detail because we really have a robust sustainability program at the Strand. Um, our solar program, we think we can't find another five star resort in the Caribbean that comes close to what we're we're doing here at the Strand. Uh, there will be, but I'm just saying so far we can't find one. Um, we have packages, solar packages. It's optional, but everybody's taking it and, uh, and for good reason. So at the townhouse villas, that program does not have Tesla power walls. The program at the, at the vacation villas um, has, I forget how many kilowatts, but we have enough solar that it should run everything you need, your pool heat, your air conditioning uh, by day, all year round, your lights, your appliances, et cetera. But we're, without the power walls, it won't do it at night. But nevertheless, we think that'll probably cut the power consumption or, you know, that'll produce somewhere between 50 and 60 percent of the power requirement of the unit and it's very inexpensive it's only 25 now maybe 30,000 or something like that on a two-bedroom 
And actually the three bedroom would be about the same, 30, 35,000 on a three bedroom. So it's very affordable. The payback on that mm-hmm. is in like less than three years. On, a, on the bigger single family homes, we actually have packages with three and four Tesla power walls. And that's cool because then they don't need uh, backup generators. And you know the, you're getting the benefit 24 hours a day. Those systems on a luxury villa, that system's around $150,000, $160,000. On the grand villa, it's about $200,000. That's our cost. We're not trying to make money on it. Um, and uh, that'll provide about 75% of your total energy needs for, for your unit. And that's a huge savings. With the power walls, the paybacks, seven to eight years. Um, but that's still a pretty good payback. You know, that's not bad. And uh, that's that's with no subsidy and no being able to sell any of it back to the to the electrical power company. So I think anyway, that's, that's the solar program we have. Yeah, it's going to be um, a huge savings, I think, as well for down here, because as we all know, uh, it's a bit tricky for, for electricity on island. <laughs> um, okay, everyone. Well, let me just see. I think we did have one more. Um, it looks like there's some more questions, maybe. Question here. Let me pull it up. Are we pre-selling? Mm-hmm. Is the question, and the answer is yes. Yes, uh, we're yeah you know, we're actually under construction now, but yeah we're selling. Um, we're at about forty five million in 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 pre pre construction sales, which is right where I wanted to be. Um, I have some pretty high goals for this year. Now that we're up and running, so you could buy today and you could be in your place in fifteen months. So uh, if it's a townhouse, it'd be eighteen months. Um, we have another question here, John, from Damien Scott, asking what the cost per square foot on average is to build if they wanted to go with the custom lots, um, which are on kind of the east side of our property. We have um, a couple of questions here that I'm having a hard time interpreting, guys. So maybe some of these I'll take offline and we'll respond to you um, after the webinar. I'll follow up with all of you. Um, and we'd be happy to send you some more information, especially on custom custom lots and, and what we have available there. Sure, but uh, just a quick answer to your question. Um, the, it, 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 it's, you know, it's not cheap, especially to do the kind of construction we're doing where our entire pallet is uh, stone, wood, and hand applied plaster and handcrafted. Uh, so it, it's not the least expensive construction you're going to find on the island, but it's around a thousand a foot. And uh, uh, but what you can do, and and it makes it really easy to price out. And what most people looking at custom lots are, are looking to do is either take a luxury or a grand uh, villa, and um, and then and put that on the custom lot, maybe modify it slightly. And then it's really easy for us to give you a price very quickly on that. Um, if you do want to go do your own completely custom house, that's perfectly fine. As the benevolent dictator, I'm the design review committee. And uh, um, and the most important thing is that the, the material palette has to stay very similar. It has to be flat roof, has to be predominantly stone and wood and and plaster so but those lots are pretty interesting because they have you know you have a hundred plus feet of frontage on the bay and you have over a hundred foot slip in the back well john i think damien had another follow-up question and i'll be building my house there <laughs> Uh, Damien had another follow-up question on that regarding the um, slips. So uh, his question is, are you able to rent out the slips through a rental program if you do not have a boat or do you don't have a desire to have a boat? Not sure. I'm going to clarify that before you go to answer, John. I, when you buy, you don't get a, you don't get a slip, right? I mean, you, you, have, right. A you have a choice. Right, right. Things. Yeah, you have you have to want to have a slip. If if you had a slip and if you did a custom lot, 
with a slip and you don't have a boat, you get, you do get, well, you have to pay for your dock or your lift or whatever you're going to do back there. But um, you do have your slip back there off your custom lot. You could rent that if you wanted to. But the other, the marina slips, they're, you know, a separate deal. It's first come, first serve um, to rent or buy them. Sorry, Damien. Now I understand the question. Yeah, I think I think he's thinking of a custom. So yeah, got that. Sorry about that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sure, you could rent that. Anybody else? Looks uh, like there's some questions. There are, but I'm not entirely sure from Camille. Um, solar roof, solar balcony, glass, sun, moon, energy technology. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, what the question is there. Um, so let me explain what we are doing with our solar. So all of our panels in the single family homes, all the panels go on the roofs and we have flat roofs with two foot high parapets. So the panels sit below the parapet. It's just an ideal situation where you can't you can't see them unless you were, you know, uh, on a drone. <laughs> you can't see the solar panels. Yeah. Um, and then the Tesla power walls go in the garage. But um, it's a very nice, very elegant way to deal with, with the solar. The solar panels are uh, Canadian solar. And like I said, the, it, we use Tesla power walls. On the, um, on the townhouse villas, the solar goes on some on the roof on a three bedroom will go on the rooftop of the third bedroom and then it will go on a couple of the trellises like for example the trellis that comes off of the living room on the ground floor that's a that's a good spot for them it also waterproofs or helps waterproof that terrace for you mm -hmm. okay just check and see that's all the questions we have um, for now. Thank you everyone for your questions. And if there's anything we didn't get to, I'll try to follow up with you after this webinar. Um, I also just wanna say guys, if you have any interest in learning more, oh, maybe there's one more. I don't understand, moon solar versus sun solar. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but listen, guys, if you do want to get some more information about the strand, uh, I would definitely say visit our website um, and register with us there because we'll be sending out our development updates um, and our next webinar, um, which hopefully will focus a little bit more on our real estate options. Um, yeah, but and let me emphasize because there was another question just popped up. The mm -hmm. Our website, which is the strand tci.com that is our primary collateral piece it is extremely thorough and all the pricing is on there all the availability a lot of the details even a lot of things we already talked about there's full into q a discussion of the club how the management works it's all in there it's very comprehensive so I encourage you, there's also over 40 photorealistic renderings. Those renderings, by the way, are the actual materials, the actual stone, wood, the actual fabric on, on the chairs that are in the, the furniture um, program. So I really encourage you to go on the website. And um, anyway, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity to, to present the strand. Thank you. Yes, so thank you everyone. Thank you, Joe and John. Thanks for all that info. And if anyone has any other questions, please uh, register with us and we will follow up with you uh, following this webinar. We'll also be posting this onto our website um, where we have our webinars um, from our previous ones. You can go on and watch that. And, um, and again, if you have any questions, you can contact us, contact Lauren for uh, showing or Nina here in Turks and Caicos. Thanks everyone.